Welcome in the first part of my DIY Dremel CNC. Today we will connect all the electronics and finally test if it works. I didn't change a lot in my machine, I added a wooden table, dimensions of this table can be found on my Instagram right here, or in the video description there is a link to my Instagram. I still didn't resolve the problem with loose on the x-axis carriage, I have to buy some glue and fix that, but I will do this later. If you didn't see the previous episodes, you should definitely do it. Here is a link to the previous episode, you should also find them on the right side of the screen or below the video if you are on mobile. You can also find a link to the playlist with all of my CNC related videos in the description. And now let's quickly go through all of the parts that we need to connect the electronics. When you have all of the components, we can start by fixing radiators to stepper motor drivers. It will help them to stay cool while milling. Grab some jumpers and connect the breakaway header to the Arduino shield to enable micro-stepping like so. Use the same jumpers to mirror the Y-axis on the fourth stepper driver. We have to do this because we use two stepper motors for Y-axis. Connect all stepper drivers to the shield, make sure that you connect them in a proper way. This is Z-axis, that's X-axis and those two motors are for Y-axis. They are also labeled on the CNC shield. If you use the same motors and shield as I do, here is how everything should be connected. If you will find out that one of the motors is spinning in the opposite direction, just unplug its connector, rotate by 180 degrees and plug back in place. It will make the motor spin in the opposite direction. There is only one way to connect motor cables to the motors, so you should end up with X and Z motors plugged in like that with red cable on the left and both Y axis motors with red cable on the right. Before connecting a power supply let's upload a GRBL to the Arduino. GRBL is a very popular firmware used in a lot of CNC machines. You can find more info about GRBL on their website. You have to add it to the Arduino IDE as a normal library and open sketch from example. There is almost nothing in the .ino file but that's fine. Choose proper board and port and upload this to your Arduino and that's all about the code for this machine. Let's take a look at software to control your machine. I found two good options, the first one is CNC.js. I love this one. Great user interface, a lot of options but it is still easy to use. Another also free software for that is GRBL controller, which I used for my DIY T8 machine. It is super easy to use and there is not a lot of options, so it's perfect for beginners. Before closing this software, we have to change steps per millimeter value on Arduino. And we can do that by sending free commands. 
tighten 3D printed part with screws to the power supply and then tighten Arduino and relay to it. Now things will get quite dangerous, so be very careful and if you have no experience with that, don't do this. Ask your friends or family for help. High voltage is very dangerous. Make sure that switch on the side is in a proper position according to voltage in your country. Connect the brown cable to the L of power supply, blue to N and yellow green to PE. Don't connect anything to power yet, we have to firstly connect the Arduino to power supply. Put a shield on the Arduino, then using thick cables, connect 12 volt output of the power supply to the plus of the CNC shield and ground of the power supply to the minus on the CNC shield. As for now, I will leave relay disconnected because I don't need it in today's video. After triple check, plug cable to the wall outlet. If there is no smoke, it should be fine. Connect Arduino to the computer with a USB cable, choose correct port in your CNC controller and click open. Our machine is ready for test, I am not going to run it with a Dremel yet. To test it, I print out this pen holder that you can place in a place of a Dremel. To hold paper in place, I used some tape. Of course, you have to set proper Z height to draw properly. I used some online software to convert SVG drawing to G-code. Then I import it to CNC.js and click start. I will link those online tools in the description. First drawings look very good and all the dimensions are ok. I am extremely happy with how this machine works and I am extremely happy with all of the positive feedback that my project received on the internet. Thank you very much for all of the views and comments, I really appreciate that. Also thanks for all of the tips and pointing out some mistakes in the comments. If you like my videos and want to see more projects like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the last final video about DIY drummer CNC machine. We will test it with different materials, we will engrave and mill to see how it performs and if it actually can mill. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.